everyone! Today I wanted to do a Canadian book haul. Earlier in the summer I went to a used bookstore in my area and they actually have a couple of shelves entirely dedicated to Canadian authors and Canadian literature. Because it was a used bookstore everything was quite inexpensive and although I have taken the price tags off I will let you know how much I actually splurged on these items. First up is Robertson Davies' The Manticore. This is a book that I mentioned in a tag on my personal channel, Foolish Oats. There's actually a whole series of this kind of style of um, paperback for this trilogy, and I really want to get my hands on Fifth Business as well as the third book in the series. This book ended up costing me about $1.25. For $5, I got Northern Lights. If you know me, you know that I love short stories, and especially Canadian short stories, and this is essentially an anthology, and it was published in 1960, and they were collected by George E. Nelson. This is actually the second collection in a series, the first being Cavalcade of the North. There are authors like Adele Wiseman, Gabrielle Roy, Brian Moore, Ted Allen, Francis Shelley Wees. Robert Christie, and Farley Mowat. At a separate used bookstore, I got the Lynn Cody Hell Going paperback. This one did cost $5, and I'm totally okay with that because it is a much newer book. Lynn Cody won the Scotiabank Giller Prize, as well as she was a Rogers Writers Trust Fiction Prize finalist for this book. This was published in 2013 by House of Anansi which is a really awesome Toronto publisher. Once again, this is a collection of short stories, which I love, and I'm really excited to check out what the big fuss is about. A used book that was actually given to me, sticking with the short story theme, is the Pagan Book of Contemporary Canadian Women Short Stories. This one I have actually started to read, raised by Lynn Cody, as well as Margaret Atwood, which is kind of obvious but also Jacqueline Baker, Carol Shields, Alice Monroe, Nancy Lee, Madeline Tien, Ramona Deering, Elizabeth Harver, and Annabelle Leon, just to name a few. And then finally, this is not a used book, we did pay full price for it, but we went to an independent bookshop, which is located in Orangeville, Ontario. We got Joseph Boyden's The Arenda. If you haven't checked out the Hello Hemlock website yet, hellohemlock.ca, we actually have a review of Joseph Boyden's Born with a Tooth, which is, once again, short stories. <laughs> there was a lot of hype and press about the Arenda, and after having read Born with a Tooth, I can definitely say that an author like Joseph Boyden deserves all the praise that he's been getting, and I'm really excited to check out this copy and give his uh, full novel-like fiction a read. Please let us know if you have read any of these books, and be sure to stop by your local used bookstore and show them some support. Thanks for watching. Bye!